A robot designed at Cornell anticipates whether you need a refill on your drink and then pours it for you. Cornell Computer Science Assistant Professor Ashutosh Saxana joins Digits to explain how it works. There he is. Thanks for being there, sir. Yes, hi, how are you? I'm, I'm very well. I, I have the beer here. And basically, you're teaching uh, a robot how to do this, which is very easy for me, and not just because I've had lots of practice. So, pr Professor Saxana, what compelled you to, to work on this? Was it the need for lots of beers to be poured for you? Um, actually, what happens is beer is a motivation of a, a particular example of uh, what needs to be done. It turns out that robots are really bad at anticipating what humans are going to do in the short term. And we are try when robots are trying to work with the humans in the vicinity, um, they are really bad in that they col collide with the humans. They're not able to figure out what the human is going to do. So it's useful in many other purposes. So we were actually watching the, the robot go to the, the fridge, opening the fridge, um, maybe to get a beer. How do you teach a robot to learn how to open the fridge, get the beer, and give you a new beer at the right time? So what we do is the robot watches different people in the past. So we train our robot by showing it 120 videos of people performing different activities, for example, having a meal, putting things in the fridge, trying to have coffee, and it watches people to figure out how do people behave in their environment and what when they're doing different activities. So and then it watches you. Now, Professor, we're now watching it spill the beer because somebody moved the cup away, which is almost like a sort of a, a childhood prank. But how do you get the, the robot to stop doing that? So that beer spill is actually, we are not using our software. And that is when uh, it spills the beer. But next, in the next shot, you will see uh, that the robot uses our algorithm and it will be able to see what the person is going to do next. And therefore, it will not spill the beer when it is using our software. Now, I, I, I like this. I like the idea of a robot there to bring me a beer when I need one. What we really need, it would seem to me, is someone to say, now you've had enough, I'm not bringing you another one, even if you want one. Have you worked on that bit of it yet? I think that would require even more experience. Um, in order to figure out that you don't need more beer, you need to really plan properly for good things. And currently, the robots are not good at that. So, on a practical application, this anticipation could be used in the workplace, could it? Not just a bar to, to serve people, right? Exactly. So, wherever robots and people are working together, this technology of anticipation is extremely crucial uh, for the robot to have. And examples are assembly line robots, robots in our houses trying to help in medical homes or hospitals, and so on. Now, how far you, you've been working on this? This is cutting edge technology and, and, and we love it. When can we expect to see this out in the workplace, uh, sort of more commercially available? So I think our uh, software is already online and people can download and start using it. Uh, I think people, you will see it getting used uh, in practical robots. Um, in one or two years, we are trying to commercialize this to take it forward and get it working on the robots that are already out there. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Well, I will raise a glass to you, but I'm sure your robot isn't there to pour one for you. Anyway, we, we thank you very much, uh, Professor Ashutosh Saxana from Cornell University. We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you. Bye. I'm Simon Constable, and that was Digits.